Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog board. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? The Hedgehog is over. gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? What the Come world? Here. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that Hedgehog! Budget flights, no food or movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. Yeah! Defying the laws of physics aside. Welcome to episode two. I am nobody, and we are going to be tackling the hero part of the story for this episode. So, most of you played this game, probably decided to play as the heroes first because you obviously are a Sonic fan, and obviously you wouldn't play as the evil guys first, yes. that's what every three-year-old does, never mind. Okay, this is probably the level that most of you are familiar with starts with the iconic street sledding, snowboarding, whatever you want to call it, with that amazing background soundtrack that everyone recognizes. Ugh. It's like 7 in the morning right now when I'm recording this, and I've been up since 3, not gonna let sleep last night. Uh, this is always not my favorite level, but always the one that I will talk about the most. That's also the one that all my friends are familiar with. Granted, most of them have played this game to completion. But it's usually only after I make them or force them to sit down and play the game in front of me, and they don't remember much after that. So uh, if ever I want to talk to them about it, I just tell them about the uh, level that involves skating down the street and running down the side of a building. That normally sells them on what it is. But this is the hero side of the story. We are picking up, frankly, right about the time. Uh, Shadow got finished running through the uh, streets. I guess this would be like same day. Because it's technically day right now. Yeah, I was never graded circuit. I was never graded uh, grinding on the rails. Although I always thought that was a cool mechanic when I was a kid. It was that in the Tony Hawk game. But, uh, I like the moves. For the GameCube, anyway. You know, the more I think about it, there really weren't many games for the GameCube that I... And I'm not saying there weren't games for the GameCube that were good. There's big. Uh, because obviously the GameCube was the best Nintendo system since the N64. Uh, but... I didn't play a lot of the games, and a lot of the games that I had were necessarily GameCube exclusive. In fact, I think the only GameCube exclusive games that I really enjoyed were uh, Super Smash Bros. and... God. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay, bring it Fire on! Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. I want to say Mario Sunshine, but I know I didn't like Mario Sunshine. But not that it was a bad game. I just wasn't. The 3D Mario games weren't uh, of particular interest to me. 
much when I was a kid. Not that they were bad or even necessarily boring games, but uh, I don't know, something about them just being confined to that those small levels. I never enjoyed it. In fact, Super Mario Galaxy was the first 3D Mario game that I actually played through to completion. And it's not because I fucked that up. <laughs> it's not because I didn't have access to Super Mario 64. My cousin played it all the time. Yeah, it was on 64. I, I have, I did play it, but I never played it competed. I just played it to run around as Mario and try and figure out how the mechanics work. But um, this next cutscene should seem familiar. What? Starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control! Yes, Sonic, again! Just let it go! You just don't know where to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who at me. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. I'll get into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. All the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. So let's get into the actual commentary now that I'm a little bit uh, more woken up. So, one of the big things you're going to notice about this game is cutscenes are reused kind of frequently. Um, and when I was a kid, I used to kind of get annoyed at that because I didn't understand why. Granted, keep in mind, uh, as I had mentioned earlier, there's a particular level in this game that kind of kept me from going any further because I'm a goddamn pussy. But, uh, you know, point in case. I didn't understand that the game was basically telling a big story because up to this point, uh, most of the games that I had played were uh, self-contained, I guess, or in a sense, they're basically Mario 3, you know, there was really, if there was a story there to it, it was very light, you kind of had to pay attention, where in most of those cases, I pretty much played the game specifically for the case of just playing the game, or the levels. One more left. You know, uh, the story wasn't really something important to me until this game came around. And once I got over my, uh, you know, pansy-ass way of looking at things, I, I, God, it, it's probably not even gonna make any sense when I tell you what, it, or when you get to what it was, but, uh, you know, more to the point. It's 
Oh crap, where is it? Is it? There it is. No. There we go. I found him. But this was actually one of the games that um, opened my mind up to the possibility of a story in a game that captured your interest. Because gameplay caught my interest just fine, but the story was... Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, I ranked a Knuckles mission. That's uncomfortable. I suck at Knuckles missions. There's no mistake about it. This must be the idea. It's a secret military base that is reinforced and super strong. It's called Prison Island. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. I still can't believe that Sonic would destroy the military building or rob the bank. Wait for me, okay, Sonic? I'm on my way. What? Hey, look, it's Amy. And Eggman, too. What's Amy doing here? Doesn't matter. I have to help Amy because she's in danger. Tornado transformation! Well, I guess we have to see about that now, won't we, Dr. Eggman? This is one of the easiest Eggman boss fights in the game. In fact, uh, you only fight him twice as Tails, and the second time, I practically tear my hair out every time. It's because he has access to multiplayer special moves, but... Uh... This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Wow, Tails! You did it! What are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again? Hurry! I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay, you stay here and I'll be right back. So I was talking about them reusing cutscenes, and it's just for the purpose of telling a overarching story as annoying as it is. Um, how even later games, not necessarily the series, but later games in general, as uh, games got more developed, uh, when they wanted to retell cutscenes or reuse cutscenes, um, they at least change camera angles, but you don't really get that here either. It's kind of annoying. At least you get different music. I mean, that's always nice. I'm a music guy. But again, even for as cheesy and stupid as the story is, I still do enjoy it. And I'm willing to look past pretty much every major flaw it has. That doesn't stop me from criticizing it, though. Will I do so? I don't know, maybe. Uh, Really, most of my criticizings and criticisms of pretty much anything are uh, in the moment as opposed to after the fact. So, if we come across something that annoys me or triggers one of my little memory rambling bitching bitch vests that I feel like having, uh, you might hear me criticize something. But aside from that, it probably won't be on the top of my mind. Um, You know what, I do have one criticism that I feel like talking about right now, and it's with the gameplay mechanics that Tails and Eggman use. It's fun, it's sh arcadey, shoot em up. But I wish there was more to it. I really do. And I know that, you know, it's an older game, you can't expect much, but... Honestly... The levels... Even the later ones, really the only gimmick that gets added that's, you know, even changes the gameplay with any level of uh, regularity, I should say. I hate those with boxes. But, uh, really, the only gameplay mechanic that you get, or the only upgrade that changes the gameplay in any significant or meaningful way is the uh, boosters. 
Oh, and the, uh... Well... The booster that hover gets, because you can hover in this game, and it's, uh, you're basically your double... Basically your double jump, but, uh... They wind up using that a lot, and you get that on Mission Street, which will be coming to... Not in this episode, but in our next Hero episode. It's uh, the first upgrade that you get is Tails, uh, but not the first one you get in the game. And I feel like the game was geared to make you play the Hero story first because very much the first upgrade that you get in the Hero campaign, which is the... ability to shoot Omo Chow through a cannon. Oh, fun little fact about this room. When I was a kid and I first got this game, and I first got to this part in the game, I did not know that that beetle that I just had to take the secondary platform to shoot back there was. Yeah, uh... I didn't know that that was there, so I literally left my game keep running for three days, and I would come back to this area for two minutes, walk around, and try to figure out... Uh, if we come back here with the Balkan Cannon, we can get an upgrade back there. Um, but and tried to figure out how to open that door, and I could not for the life of me figure it out until I think I accidentally shot the beetle. I was not a smart gamer as a kid. Depending on what I was doing. I always was overthought easy. things. It was easy, Tail. But the biggest problem with this gameplay is it's pretty much just spam the B button, don't get hit. Keep your voice down. Have no fear. Amy Rose is here. How'd you get here? Well, if you gotta know, I caught a ride with Tail. Are you sure you don't need my help? It looks like you could use it. The reason I'm in here is because of that fake hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it now? If I tell you, will you marry me? No way! I thought I had you this time! That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? Wait for me, Sonic! He's such a brat. Ah, repeating textures. Now we move on to my favorite Sonic level. My favorite two Sonic levels in the game, and I think we'll end it with uh, Green Forest, but... Ah, oh, Metal Harbor, Green Forest. These two levels in the game are just my favorite, the most memorable. I love the outlines. I love the uh, homing attack spam. I always did like that gimmick once I got the hang of it. I love the music. Oh, the music is probably my favorite part of these levels. When I was a kid, I just... I would start the game over and over and over and over again just to play Metal Harbor and Green Forest. Didn't beat the game. I did eventually, but because I was terrified to go past that, which you'll see. These quickly became instant replays for me. I would start up the game many, many times in my childhood just to get here so I could play these again. In fact, I actually learned how to play uh, Metal Harbor's uh, theme song on my guitar. But uh, we just got the Lightspeed Shoes, and that is one of the most integral upgrades to the Sonic series that Sonic has ever gotten, making appearances both in the game before this and in games to follow. Uh, unfortunately, I've only made that once. You know what? Sure, we'll go for it again. Missile launch in 15 seconds. 
Really? <laughs> oh well. Third time's a charm. Missile launch in 15 seconds. Granted, I've replayed this level many, many times. I never actually made that jump. I always make that one though. I figured I'd try it because I was recording, but you know what? I can't be cool. I'm not cool for school. That's also another reason I don't do live recordings often, is because when I die, I feel like it messes up the flow. And people get bored. Or annoyed. This is also one of these sledding zones that I wasn't that great at. I don't know if it's because I wasn't... Uh, the layout is just not conducive to... Uh, Sledding, which is probably part of it. Uh, the other part of it is yes! I'm not really great at the thumbstick with instant acceleration. I just wound up smacking back and forth. Which you could argue is a problem with it. the controls of this game, but aside from that one section, I really don't have a problem with any of the controls of this game. Except maybe, you know, walking into the wall of Sonic, but... Whew. So far, so good. Hey, that's... That blue hedgehog again, of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh. You're not even good enough to be I'll my... I'll make you eat those words! There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. Ah, uh, fanboy fights of the century. I'm the coolest. One thing that you uh, may try, you may not know, is that somersaulting into shadow actually does something. I didn't know that as a kid. So you're not just a hedgehog. Darn, not bad for an imposter. Honestly, I think that's the quickest I've ever beaten him. Shadow's a fun character. It's an alright boss fight. That's one of the more complicated ones. Or, not complicated, what's the word I'm looking of? Bullshit. What are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it! Blows up? Also, you look behind Sonic, that's the end of the green forest level, so I... I don't know, maybe I'm just nuts. Uh, but we enter the second Sonic level that I love so much. Arguably one I'm probably better at. Not by much though. For me, the thing that sold me on this level, the first time I ever heard it, was the theme. I loved it theme to this level. It was just amazing. Oh, uh, by the way, you can just ignore the time limit, because it, this, this is, you, you'll get there in about two minutes, no matter what. You really only have to worry about the time limit if you just legitimately just screw off most of the time. Um, I think you can get the golden one if you bounce high enough, but uh, it's just easier for me to get them with a the bounce bracelet. If you're going for the golden beetle drones in this run through, which uh, you don't get anything for it, it's really just an if you want to type of idea, uh, that one you need the bounce bracelet for, at least to get it effectively. Yeah, so uh, we just passed the boss fight area, so I kind of wonder if Sonic was just running in the wrong direction and then suddenly realized, oh hey, maybe I'm not supposed to go this way. But, uh, yeah, I noticed that as a kid. It always kind of bothered me. It's like, well, Sonic, are you just purposely screwing around? I mean, I guess that would fit his character, but still.
Oh, uh, another hint. I could never figure out how to get those uh, balloons when I was a kid. Apparently pressing the A button was too much for me. But yeah, uh, just press the A button when you're descending and you'll grab them. That could have ended horribly. So, um... I know that a lot of people will complain about the controls in this game, and I can kind of understand why. They are a bit, uh, bullshit. Um, and honestly, if I had to guess, I would say that the reason most people play and remember this game fondly the way they do is a combination of, we got used to the controls, and we know the ins and outs of how to move all the characters and how to do all the fun things, whereas someone who's, um, shall we say, not as familiar with this game, this particular series, probably wouldn't be that, or do that well. So in a sense, I guess I can kind of understand some of the criticisms as to why the uh, game isn't as uh, loved as it yes! used to be. That was terrible. Huh, no problem. I guess not, Sonic, but I kind of have a problem with it. That was not my perfect run, or that was not my best run.